Hi, I'm Derek Thieler. Living with seizures can be a challenge, but one way to help is to make sure that you're maintaining a healthy lifestyle. This includes exercise, eating right, and doing activities to help you relax and reduce stress. When we go back to use that term self-management, right? First of all, it's really comprehensive management. It's family management. What does the individual do to help themselves? But what do the family members do? What do you do to help yourself dealing with epilepsy? What does your wife do? So everyone needs to have some help. And then you think about what works best. If we look at the research on self-management, mm -hmm. it's not one thing, but it's things that increase a person's confidence in their ability to manage it. So mindfulness-based things, martial arts, stress management, a whole host of different things, exercise. If that can help you feel better about yourself, feel more confident, there's a direct influence about managing your seizures and getting better seizure control. Because yeah. that's what we're looking for. Absolutely, and I would encourage people not just to talk about it, but to know that there is no such thing as a dumb question. It's, it's important to get the dialogue going because you never know. Somebody might say, oh, you know, try uh, meditating or try Tai Chi or something to lower the stress or whatever. It's self-management, it's, right. it's important. But just talking about it builds one's confidence. And that itself is a skill that you need to learn. How do I talk about it? True. I need to feel comfortable telling somebody about my seizures. I need to think about who to tell, how much to tell them. And that's something that you don't learn when you go to your clinic visit, to your hospital visit. It's stuff that you need to learn from others and, and find what fits right for you and your family. So talking about it, one of the most critical self-management skills. Wellness is a very important part of managing your seizures. To learn more, visit epilepsy.com.